Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name's Emma LaFave, and today I'm gonna give you a little glimpse into what I'm thinking when I'm painting something that I don't really have a plan for. So let's jump right in and start. Okay, so I wanna paint. I'm gonna paint. What, what the heck I'm gonna paint? I want to paint the daisies. Daisies? Yeah, let's, let's do daisies. So I, I'm gonna start with the center. The center is yellow. I'm gonna make some sort of cone shape here. The rounded bottom, fill it in. How many should we do? Two, three? No, let's just do two. Okay, so let's make our, our, our next cone shape. Um, all right, now I gotta think of the petals. They're white, so I kinda wanna make a beige color. I think, I think I'm just gonna add white to some yellow ochre, maybe? There's my white, uh, yeah. Okay, let's add a little bit of a color bleed from that yellow center. Bit more water on my brush. It's very light. Now nah, we'll do another round after. Let's just keep going. I like this beigey color. Got that little color bleed from the center of the yellow. Let's do the next one before it dries. One, two, three, four. They're kind of separated. Should I, should I do another petal in between after it's dry or while it's wet? How should I do this? What if I add a little bit of black to my white and make it just like a different tone, like a grayish color and put it in between? Is this going to be too full and not separated looking enough? A little darker. Maybe not. Okay, let's just fill it in. We can always fix this part. Okay. A stem. Let's think of making a stem now green a light green let's just use my sap green maybe i'll mix yellow put some yellow in it make it a nice bright green find the center and down okay yep one two and second stem all right leaves it needs it's gonna need leaves so let's put some leaves on it or we'll do one here make it kind of Wait, what do, what do those leaves look like again? Let's just make it kind of jagged. Uh, I don't know. One, two, three. Okay. Where am I going to put the other leaves from the other flower? Maybe I'll just make them smaller. Put one below. Or there. I can fit one there. Mm, and then that, that one needs another one. We'll do a small one there. There. That kind of balances it out. Right? I don't even know. That first one has like so many leaves. It's fine. It's fine. Let's, let's add some darker bits in there just to, you know, give it a little bit of something. Should I outline it? I don't even know what direction I'm going with this painting. Am I making it like detailed? Is it loose? I don't know. Let's, let's keep going. Let's just wing it. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, let's add a little bit darker green into that. Maybe we'll just add some lines and... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this looks weird. Outline it. Uh-huh. Don't know where I'm really going with this. Just gonna play. I can always fix it. it this... This looks odd. It does not look right. It does not look right at all. I'm I'm just gonna go over it. I don't I don't like that. Okay, we're just gonna go over the whole leaf. You can still see some of that lightness underneath. They can still have a bit more of the darkness towards the center. That just did not look right. Okay, fill it in. Fill it in. You can fix it. What am I doing? I have no idea where I'm going with this. Should I just stop and give up? No, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. I'm going to make 
some more detail on these petals because they're all kind of mushed together. Got some gray and that's a little too dark. Let's try and make it a little lighter with some white. Okay, that's that's too dark again. Yeah, it's still too dark. Let's take some of that off. Uh, still too dark. Okay. I want to make it lighter. What am I doing? Thinner lines. Thinner lines. Ah! Okay. Thin lines. A little bit of darkness. Still looking kind of like a blob of petals. Not enough separation. This color is really not doing a whole lot. How am I going to get that separation that I want? Okay, keep going. We can figure this out. Maybe if I just add more detail to the center of the flower. Let's let's do some little dots here. Dot, dot, dot. Keep them a bit more, you know, clustered at the bottom. Use my yellow ochre so it's a bit darker. But now the top looks a little bare. Okay, just finish the yellow ochre part and then we'll go back. Maybe we'll put some dots with the lighter yellow on top. That looks a little odd too. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. There we go. Let's get some lighter yellow and add some more texture just so there's te texture all over because it looks weird when there's not, but that's not that much more yellow. Maybe I need more white. Maybe I'll add a little bit of white to the top with the yellow so it's a bit more like of a highlight. Does that even make a difference? I don't know. Okay. Where am I going with this? Where am I going with this? Uh, okay. You know what? Let's do a background. Let's, let's do a background. Maybe that will help. No. Ooh, let's, let's put brown. Let's put some brown. Maybe that will add a bit more depth to the center. Yep. That helps a little, I think. Okay. Dot, 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 dot. Maybe I'll drag out some lines with the brown. Should I? I don't even know. Yeah, just a little bit. Just so there's a little bit of depth. Like a little bit of darkness towards there. Maybe you can see some sort of the, the petals if I do that. Just drag out some lines. Okay. That looks, that looks decent. I feel like, yeah, I need to add more dots. The center's too smooth. It needs a bit more texture on the outline. It's just too rounded. Okay, this is looking a little better. See, that that brown actually helped. I think I still need a background of some sort. Maybe a solid color in a minute. I don't know. Let's, let's add a bit more of the gray. I feel like these petals are just so smushed together. There's no definition, and they're just kind of blending together. You know what I mean? feel like I've done this better before. Just keep going. Okay, that helps a little bit. Maybe a bit more darker brown. Okay. Now what? More green. Let's add a little bit of detail to the, the stems and the leaves. Yeah. Now that it's dry, we can have, you know, some sharper lines. It's more on the detailed side anyway, so adding that detail to the leaves might help make it pop out a bit. Okay. Okay, this is starting to look a little better than I initially thought. You know, just, you gotta keep going, but I still need to add something. I, I feel like some sort of a background is where I should go with this. But what color do I pick? Do I pick like a blue? No, like pink? I like this neutral kind of color. Maybe maybe this like orangish, reddish brown, this brown matter color. Keep it nice and earthy toned. Yeah, I think this looks good. All right, let's just do an uneven kind of rectangular background and we're gonna fill it in and maybe that will help, you know, tie it together. Okay, this part's boring. Let's speed it up. 
Go, go, go. Background, background. Go around. Try not to touch any other wet parts of the flower. As carefully as possible. Try and go as slow as you can. That's why we're speeding this up. Okay, it's, it's, it's making it pop a bit more, but those flowers, the petals, they still look a little clumpy together. How am I going to separate them? Hmm. Okay, let's dry this. And then we'll think about how we can fix this. Okay, you know what? I have an idea. Let's use a pen. Let's, let's put some ink on there. Maybe that will help separate those petals. It's not going to look too like detailed, realistic, but you know, it will give it some style maybe. So I'm just going to add some lines, not fully to each petal, just kind of to add a little bit of darkness. I don't know. At the bottom, let's do those little details at the bottom of the, the petals and then make it dark close to the stamen. I think that will help make it stand out a bit more. Just do dots, lots of dots, more dots, more dots. Let's, let's keep going with the dots, dot, dot, dot. Do some lines maybe. Yep. Okay. Just have it, have it be a, an ink and wash flower. That's the direction we're going. That is not what I intended. I didn't really intend anything when I started this. I, I don't know what I was going for, but I think I like the direction it's going in. I think that works. I feel like I could use a bit more shadow underneath some of those petals. Let's, let's make there be a bit shadow. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. I think that's working. On the other side now. Just make this like scribbly, scratchy kind of motion. <laughs> really want to try and get some of that shadow in there. Okay. Okay, so that totally changes the look of it. More dots. But I think it's okay. I don't know if I liked it better before. Did I screw it up? I might have screwed it up. I don't know if I like this. I'm committed now, so we're doing the other flower. All right. Oh, there's a garbage truck outside. Can you hear it? Of course. Always when I'm filming or trying to think. More dots, more dots, more lines, more lines. Shading, shading. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like we got more of like this beigey color with the petals before and now they don't look as beige. I don't know. Let's okay. Let's keep going. This could turn out. It could look okay. But I don't know if it's darn garbage truck. Shush out there. Okay. You know what? Maybe if I add some ink to the leaves and the stems, let's, let's do that. The whole thing is going to be an ink and wash daisy flower thing. Okay. Add in that detail, we'll kind of pull it all together. That's that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to add some lines down the center, a little bit more shading towards the base of the leaves, along the stem. Oh, garbage truck, go away. Okay, it's gone. Let's finish this. Okay, just going to outline the stem. I think this kind of pulls it together. I think if I just did the petals, it would look a little weird. So adding some lines and details to the leaves definitely help. Do the veins and those leaves in there. There you go. Okay. Outline it a bit. Outline the stem. Doesn't look so bad. And I think, I think that actually looks decent for not knowing what direction I was going in. I feel like I need to add a bit more of this background color to separate some of those petals, maybe. I don't know. Is this going to make a difference? Who knows? Let's do a little bit, a little bit. Did that make a difference? Mm, no. Okay, it's fine. I think I'm done. I think that's it. I think it turned out well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little glimpse into what goes on in my head during a painting. 
Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, but that's usually how it goes. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.